What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. We are taking a look at your Monday players, and it is the Italian League boosters. And I think these could possibly be some of the worst players that they've released. But let's crack on and find out. We're going to take a look. Del Piero, Milito, and of course, Ever. And let's see how they go. Because I do feel that this is an older version of Del Piero. I feel like they should have made him like prime version of Del Piero as he scores a free kick here. But you'll see a, a kind of a running trend with all of these players. He's down as an SS. We also have Milito and Ever as CFs as well. So um, it is going to be kind of an interesting one to look at as we get closer to uh, now I think the next season and the next stuff that's going to be happening here. I feel like Del Piero is going to be kind of more of like a nostalgic player, uh, similar to how I see Collar. I mean, can I use Collar? Can you use Del Piero up front? Yes, of course you can. Can you use Milito and Aver? Of course you can. But you are going to make it a little bit more difficult for yourself using those players compared to what the game is actually really really rewarding at the moment, right? So I'm not going to spend too long on these because they are missing quite a few stats and skills that we're going to get into here. But they, those are the three players. You see a little trailer there to get us in the mood for spinning if we are. But listen, lads, honestly, I do feel like that these players are definitely the easiest skip so far. Unless you are like a massive fan of Del Piero, um, similar to a way that I was a massive fan of Collar, right? So we're going to go back out here. We're going to take a quick look at the cards, obviously. And then we're going to show you the training builds and the guides and a couple of tips and tricks for all these Italian league attackers. So these are also part of a pack, boys, that you have got Del Piero, Milito, and Aver as your legends. They've both got 31 and 31 uh, as their levels. And then Del Piero as an SS has got a 30 levels. I think Del Piero should have had 33 levels, and I'm going to show you why in a second. But we'll also cover very quickly Raspadori, Beltran, Immobile, Toram, Chukwesi, Lukaku, Keane, and of course, Xerxi, who are part of this pack as well. I wouldn't recommend be spinning for this pack, lads, unless you definitely want Del Piero. And you're happy enough that unless you're going to go and clear the box. I mean, it's just one of the weaker boxes. Because even if you do get Del Piero, I just feel like there's a lot of players that you can actually get um, that are going to do a better job than him. You know what I mean? So if we do take a look at Ever here before we go through the standard cards, and I'll just give you the builds for those. These all have boosters, as you can see here. Shooting plus two, they all have the same booster. But there's a there's a couple of things that I want to talk about, right? So Aver is down as a fox in the box. He has first time shot and one touch pass and chip shot control. But he doesn't have acrobatic finishing. He doesn't have outside curler. He doesn't have long range, anything. It's basically a fox in the box, you know, literally putting it in uh, tap-ins. A tap-in merchant. That's what this guy is about. And even though he's got aerial ability, right, his physical contact and his jumping isn't too bad. And he's got no wavering form. He doesn't have any heading skills either. He doesn't have acrobatic finishing, so you're going to have to give him that. I just feel like this card is a big boss, man, honestly. I mean, that's just me being totally blunt um, and calling it as it is. I think that they could have given this guy, you know, better stats and better card, uh, a better card overall. Even another extra level on this guy would have been nice because his player build isn't the worst. When you take a look at it over here, we've gone for 6 into shooting, 8 into dribbling, 14 into dex, and then 4 into lower body and aerial strength. That gives us a fairly good player. I mean, you're going to have 90 acceleration, you're going to have 85 plus boost. You're going to have 90 finishing. You're also going to have his offensive awareness really high. But I just feel like that there's a lot of lacking uh, stats with this card. And for me, it's a big skip for me on this card here. We also have Milito here, who's in a kind of a similar form, right? In a similar kind of like, um, similar complaints about his card. Now, he does have heading, but he doesn't have first time shot. He does, or sorry, he doesn't have one touch pass to bring others into play. He does have first time shot, but he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have uh, long range curler, even though he's got outside curler. He's got fighting spirit as well, so there's a little bit more about him. And he does have acrobatic finishing and chip shot control. First time shot, outside curler, and acrobatic finishing is a little bit better uh, from Melito, but he still doesn't have one touch pass. So there's a lot, as I said, there's a lot to, to dislike about these cards. Unless you are a big fan of the players. I think that there are big skips. You can get Fox in the boxes like this that are going to be able to do you a different job uh, on the GP marketplace and save your coins. Honestly, unless you're going to go really deep for Del Piero, I think that is it is kind of a bust here uh, in terms of these cards. No, that's not to say that Milito can't be a beast. It's not all about stats. You know, some players can play way above their stats. And I think that Milito could be one of those guys. I mean, that can actually get you a lot of goals, similar to Inzaghi. But I just feel judging on this, I don't feel that it's worth actually going for. Honestly, I don't feel that these cards are going to be making any difference unless you just want to have a bit of fun and make an Italian kind of legend team or something like that. 
The rest of the players before we get to Del Piero, right? The rest of the players here that we have are going to be a kind of a mixture of uh, some that are really good and some that I just don't think are going to be worth it. Now, I'm going to go through them very, very quickly and show you the, the, the training guides that we've gone for here. So there's Xerxes. You can pause the video here. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. You're going to have 90 acceleration there. But that's about it with Xerxes. You're also going to have with Charquazy here, I'm not too sure why that one did load, but we have got acceleration and balance very, very high, dribble and tight possession. This is a good card uh, for this right midfielder here. It is actually pretty decent. I mean, you're going to have one of the picks of the pack here with 97 plus acceleration or around that, depending on what manager you're using. Of course, with the speed, you're going to get that 90s. Balance is going to be 90 and then tight possession, ball control and dribbling all in the 90s as well, which is pretty decent. Beltran, there's the build we've gone for for him. Obviously, a lot of these cars are going to be limited. You've also got Lukaku. Lukaku's got 90 finishing, 90 awareness, and 95 physical contact with 85 acceleration. It's not a bad card, man, but at this stage in the game, I just feel like you need to have your team kind of sorted. If you are a newcomer, these are good cards, but anything other than that, I think, you know, especially a Mobley, man, like what a bad card, man. That card is just not worth even being brought out. It's just nowhere near where the game is at at the moment in terms of dribbling, in terms of acceleration or balance or physical contact if he doesn't have balance. I don't know, man. It's just a weird, weird card. And then, of course, we have Turam. We've got a couple of cards of him. There's the build for him with two into goalkeeper, one, uh, eight into shooting, seven into dribbling, 12 into dex, and four into lower body with seven into aerial strength. Not a bad card. He's got 90 acceleration, 90 physical contact, and 85 finishing. And Raspadori, as well as we have him here, he's not a bad card either. Very, very silky. 88 in acceleration, balance, dribbling type possession, which is going to give you 90 in all of those, which is a nice card, but the finishing just lets him down. But he's, he's, he's actually a really decent card as well with the player skills that he has. But at this stage, lads, there's no point in overcomplicating it, man, unless you are going for the big boy, which is Del Piero, okay? I don't feel like that any of these cards are going to be like, you know, making you stop in your tracks. As I said, depends on where you are in your journey. If you are a newcomer and you do spin for some of these, all of these players, apart from Immobile, and I would say probably Keen as well, um, are probably guys that you don't really need. I don't think we had a look at him, but that's his build there if you want to pause the video. I think all of these cards are going to be limited in what they do. I mean, even for Raspadori as an SS here, like really good card, but hardly any skills that you're going to have to invest a lot of time into training him up. Yes, he's got super sub as an impact player, but he doesn't have one touch pass. He doesn't have double touch. He doesn't have no look pass. He doesn't have low lofted weighted. He doesn't have outside curler or long range curler or dip and shot or rising shot. Chuck Wazy is the same. I mean, he's got rapid pace, but he doesn't have any real player skills that are going to make you stand up and be like, yeah, this guy is really dangerous as a Roman flank. He has soul control, but he doesn't have, and double touch, but he doesn't have flip-flap. You need to give him that for ball roll if you want to give him that. He also doesn't have one touch pass or any other stats that are going to be really that good apart from, apart from outside curler. So there's a lot to kind of dislike about these cards. Now, Del Piero Leds is a very interesting one. Obviously, a legend of the game, shooting plus two. He's got gamesmanship. He's got... Long range curler, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. He doesn't have one touch pass. That's a big bust on him. And he doesn't have any dribbling skills either. You know, he was a very direct kind of goal scoring, creative option, very technical. And the game has kind of really never kind of like supported that. You know, that uh, Dimitar Berbatov, that Burkamp, that style of hold up play where it was all about technique and football IQ, rather, you know, and brains. Um, and Del Piero was one of those where he wasn't blistering fast. Uh, but he could still get around the pitch fairly nicely, right? Now, the build that we've gone for with Del Piero to kind of coexist along with this booster and to kind of make up for his frailties here with his player skills and all of that, we've actually, we're going to have to make a couple of decisions on him. And that's the biggest problem with these cards. You don't have kind of like ready-made, you know, slot in uh, players that you can just replace some of your favorite players with unless you put a bit of work in, right? So speed, acceleration, balance, all pretty decent and kick and power. Acceleration, speed, very, very nice stats there. Finishing is going to be 90. He does have good stats. Apart from his tight possession, that's going to be, you know, about 85. He does have fairly decent stats, but I just feel like if he had three extra stats here, if he had three extra progression points, you would have been able to get that tight possession up to 90. And that would have changed my opinion on him quite a bit. Even though I think Del Piero will be boosted quite a bit and buffed quite a bit for the first bit of this, uh, maybe for the first week or two until the next season, I do feel like that this card 
is just a little bit under what it is. But I could be wrong, lads. Look, we will be live streaming later on today. I hope you guys join me and let me know if you disagree, if you agree, whatever it is. Let me know if you're going to be spinning for these Italian guys as well. For me, it's going to be a skip for me, unfortunately. I do feel like I have my beastly squad at the moment if I'm playing meta. Or even if I'm having a bit of fun, I'd rather play with Collar or Louis Binbin up front. But I am tempted to go for Del Piero just to see what he's like. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Is it a bust or are these beasts? I mean, let me know if you're going to spin or not. And I hope to see you guys in the live stream. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any content. And I'll see you in a bit.